everyone, my name is Nabala Chi and I represented Trinidad and Tobago at the Girl Muslima Award held in Indonesia last year. Today I'm here to talk about what I learned in the competition and also what it's like to be a hijabi in Trinidad and Tobago. Being a hijabi in Trinidad and Tobago is a fantastic experience. I would say it's the most amazing experience because we don't have to face the pressures that other countries such as France or Palestine have to face. Um, our culture is very diverse. We have different races, different languages, different cultures, different religions. So, you know, uh, our community is one, one of acceptance and we don't really have to face any sort of pressure from the government or from people. I mean, from time to time, people would say mean things out of you know ignorance, but it's really nothing to talk about. You know, it's, it's really a, a very easygoing experience, personally, and I think generally. So, um, I think Trinidad and Tobago is like one of those places where we are free to wear our hijabs. And not only that, but free to wear our hijabs the way we want it. And we're also free not to wear it if, if that's what we choose. And um, I think in terms of hijab styles, Trinidad and Tobago has a very flamboyant vibe. So we have a lot of um, Muslim women wearing hijabs in different styles. You know, and as time goes along, people get more creative and inventive. So you see all these different... Uh, um, really imaginative and experimental hijab styles emerging. I wear my hijab to the beach, to the malls. I wear my hijab to work, and there are so many other hijabis who work and wear their hijab, and it's like you know, it's cool. And um, you know, we don't really face any pressure, and I think it really does vary from individual to individual. But this is my experience, and this is my story. And for me, it's been a fantastic experience as a hijabi in Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm really proud of that, and I really appreciate that. The hijabi women in Trinidad and Tobago are very, very inventive and so experimental when it comes to hijab and hijab styles, and it's just so amazing, particularly for Eid, our celebration. You see so many different hijab styles, and it's like, wow, it's so, so, so amazing. And the hijabi Trini women, they really do take hijab seriously. We take hijab seriously because it's just such a part of our culture, you know, the different colors and different styles. So Trinidad and Tobago definitely has a very, very wide range of hijabis wearing these crazy hijab styles and it's just so magnificent. And I'm really proud to be a hijabi woman. It's like each hijabi has her different style, you know, has her different personality and then that is translated into the way she wears her hijabs. At least that's what the case is like for me. You know, I love lace and I love like a uh, very elegant look so for example in this hijab you know i have my lace and then i have like my sideband i try to make it really really imaginative and very different from anything else i've seen um, one of the things that i really really appreciate about people is that they come up to me and they ask me you know how do you tie your hijab and you know where did you learn to do that and it's been fascinating that when people come up to me and they ask me how do you tie that hijab or some of them they come up to me and they stare at me like that like how did you tie that you know and it's really it's really like an invitation for dawah because i could expound on islam i could expound on hijab can expound on what it is like to be a muslim and that's like i see that as an opportunity to educate people on islam and muslims and what hijab is because there are a lot of misconceptions out there and a lot of um you know stereotypes that you know they aren't true and um i really am open to answering questions and hearing what people have to say so i think that the way i do my hijab invites people to ask questions about me and ask questions about hijab and islam and that's really great because i see that as an opportunity to educate people on my faith as a hijabi i did recognize that yes i'm here at the world muslim award competition and there are so many other hijabis and you do see different styles and i think uh the, the styles are influenced by the culture for example the indonesians they are so colorful and so creative and they have their different styles and then you have uh you know tunisia and you have the united kingdom you have nigeria singapore malaysia you have all these different countries coming together so you are bound to see different hijab styles and the great thing about being there with all those women is that you know we are all so different but in being different we are also the same and we have similar aspirations as hijabis you know wanting to be there and representing our country and um i learned that it's not really something new that i learned but it was just a reminder and it was really great to be reminded of that and diversity in islam does exist and it's such a beautiful thing and you know although we might be from different countries different cultures different races you know and in some instances speak different languages 
we still want the same things. We still have similar aspirations as hijabis, and that's to represent Islam in the best light possible.